previously on the dragon ship. Mark, you, know, you have anything you want to? Mark wanted to talk about the the birth control issue. You want you want me to swing down to that? We can do that well, definitely. Go ahead, Mark. Bring it up. I, I just think it's like everything else. Any kind of you know, like your SSR eyes is that what you're calling? Any kind of drug you take affects the way people feel and the way they react. So you're messing with the hormonal system here with a woman. And I was thinking also, as you guys were talking about the selection process, um, men have the same, they have selection process also, but it's not as easy for them to, how do I say, uh, um, uh, to, um, to do it, for lack of a better way. As a woman, she can go out and find somebody pretty well anytime she wants to, but a man actually has to, uh, it's just a woman says yes, and a man has to actually go out and put some effort out. So. I don't know whether a lot of that is so relevant today because, you know, you talked about the two-year window for a woman when she gets pregnant. Is that as much of a consideration for women today or as it would have been back in the Stone Age because they have so much uh, support and help? A lot of women go to have a baby and they go to work, what, within the first month after they have it to go back to work, some of them do? Oh, I'm, certain it's, I'm certain it's a factor. We're very oversimplifying here for the purpose of the discussion. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, I was thinking, I wondered how much of a consideration it is for women nowadays because they can work up until what time? Nine months pregnant yeah, or until I mean, they yeah, have a baby? Yeah, up to conception, I would imagine. You know, yeah, I, I don't think it's, you know, my question is, do they want to? Well, I don't think it's wise, but, and also, if the baby's not bonding with the mother and, and the baby's in daycare within a couple of weeks or a month or whatever, what effect does that have on a child down the road? So that's something to think about too. I believe we've really kind of gotten away from a lot of the things we need to stay with as far as raising children. Mm. But I'm I'm I've been called a misogynist and I got traditional ideas, so that's <laughs> just my point of view. <laughs> you got the you you've got you've got the tough breaks, Mark. It's okay, yeah, I, man. <laughs> I get I get attacked for my traditional views there. No, I, I think I think the birth control thing is a valid uh Oh yeah, issue, definitely. For sure. And it's like what Pitney just said, you know, are women losing attraction partners? They select a wall on birth control. There is, um, there is, there's corollary evidence that points in that direction. I can't say that it is uh, from science yet because it's, it correlates a cause and effect. And there, like Mark said, there could be other factors that play into that as well, but at its base level, we're talking generally, we can generally accept that there is a corollary connection between on birth control attraction and off. And this has been admitted to by very, very many women. And that's, that's the evidence that we have. If you haven't already, join Thor's The Dragon's Membership. It's a men's monthly interactive meeting in cyberspace. This is a mask on place for men that is censorship free to help you increase your performance, converse as well as leverage ideas, and get coaching consultations on how to handle life's issues in a modern world. This is a unique place. This is a discreet place, and it's a place for men. So what are you waiting for? Join the Dragons membership today 